interesting. I, there's such great views up there. Also, it gives you a good indication of how much smog there is here. Zona Archeologica Tenayuca 1. Nine minutes by car or a 45 minute walk. Most used. I always get that bit of paranoia when I'm in a part of town that I've not been to before and I play those, I don't know what you'd call them, manic fantasies about people tailing me or something like that. They must be doing a great job if so, because this is a very twisty route. I saw like the um, street side taco stands. I could go for a taco. God, it smelled terrible. It was like one of those open sewer smells that you smell sometimes in Mexico or takes me back to South Korea. That's quite the difference from one side of the street to the other. Freshly painted carport or stage uh, parking. I don't even speak English anymore. <laughs> there it is, Jesus Cristo. Well, pedestrian path action going on. Little open sewer action going on. All right. Oh. With every wafting breeze. It becomes more and more apparent that the source of that water is indeed flushing toilets without any doubt. Styrofoam, plastic. The Salado Museum had its doors locked and I had to knock to get in, but luckily they were there and they were open. As I admit, I had not called ahead and sometimes posted hours in Mexico are more of an average than a set rule. Tenayuca is about 12 kilometers as the crow flies, mostly north of Centro, and I found it to be a very worthwhile visit. Obviously, the Temple of the Sun and the Moon at Teotihuacan is a more breathtaking attraction due to its enormity but I feel as though the Zolotl Museum is something that I would have wanted to have seen before I had gone um, to Teotihuacan. Now, one word of uh, note, if you Google Tenayuca and you find images that pop up of this small pyramid, which still has its temple on top, don't get confused. Someone wrote an article, it got a bunch of clicks, it shows up high on Google. It's based off someone else's Instagram that visited not only Tenayuca, but a couple of kilometers to the north, there's the pyramid at Santa Cecilia's Acatitlan, which is not the same place. So don't expect to see this when you come to Tenayuca. Tenayuca was on the agenda in 1914 to be unearthed. However, it wasn't until 1925 and later that the work really began. In 1945, some of the sculptures in the museum were created based off of the excavation, but the museum itself didn't open until 1985. Tenayuca was the first capital city of the Chichimeca on the northwest shore of Lake Texcoco, the lake on which Mexico City was built as Tenochtitlan. Salado was the king at this time around the late 1200s, early 1300s. The design with two temples on the top to the gods Tlaloc, the water god, and Huitzilopochtli, 
who is the sun and war god. This is the first of at least three temples, which include Tlautoloco, which is in my next video, and Templo Mayor, close to the Zocalo and Centro Historico in Mexico City. The Chichimeca people became entwined with the Tenochtitlan people before they were both colonized by the Spanish at the end of the post-classical era of Mexico. Building temples to the gods as a semi-nomadic people like the Chichimeca, who are making salt from the Lake Texcoco or collecting aquatic plants and animals, pre-farming, pre-animal husbandry, the elements, weather, and natural phenomenon ruled over their lives. Until more modern ways of living were developed or imposed on the Chichimeca, it was everything that you could do to control the outcome of your life to offer the gods some of the fruit of your hunting and fishing, your handiworks, weapons. The temples on these structures were built as homes for the gods. The pyramids were also built in sync with astronomical phenomena to serve as a calendar. And all along the sides of the base of the pyramid surrounding it is the wall of snakes, or the Coatepantli. And this is common in uh, Mesoamerican architecture because they pay homage to Huitzilop. I'm going to butcher it again. I'm just reading it off my phone. I don't care. Huitzilop... Huitzilopochtli. Because he was the sun god of the Mexica, but also this is the god of life, light, fertility, civilization, and knowledge. And so the Coatlapantli would protect the base of the tower from, I suppose, anything which would offend these sacred institutions, you know, civilization. It's funny when you think of being civilized, when you see so many of the ofertas, the offerings, I mean, we, you know, by and large, we eat animals. And so seeing dead animals to being offered to the gods, being offered to the kings, you know, they would, they would come to ceremonial centers like this to feast among other things. But you'll also see like a rack of skulls where you could see that they, you know, inserted a pole through the head. That was one form of oferta too. And you say it's so uncivilized, but somehow that kind of barbarism brought forth a place where you could generally have your health, your, your life, your liberty, your dignity. Scenes of violence were used to control the population and to remind that the threat of violence was behind the power of government. I was going to dog on this serpent for obviously not doing his job of protecting the structure. But then I realized that if we actually see him disappear behind that wall, it's because he's from a previous etapa. He's not from the outermost. So that's pretty cool. Like a seven layer burrito or like or like Temple of Mayor with seven layers as well. Is the seven layer burrito a real thing outside of Taco Bell? To think that in the 1910s, you'd ride your little pony past here, pull in your cart or what have you. And you really just, maybe somebody had told you a story, maybe there was some kind of an oral history about what was here, but you just really didn't know for sure. I mean, I guess you kind of knew there were other ones that were up out of the ground.
finally got unstuck from the photo shoot. They seemed appreciative. So I was thinking to myself that next I would go to Plaza de Tres Culturas, but there are two sites and I was just at one of them. Yeah, Pyramide Tenayuca Dos. About five minutes away. If you've never been to Mexico, then you don't know this one very specific anxiety that I just realized. It just hit me like the Sunday scaries. I was just like, oh. After I paid to get in there, I pretty much only have 500 billetes left. 500 pesos bills. You can't do dick here with 500 pesos. Nobody has any change. Well, 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 what do we have here? Oh, sign. Need the sign. Which is covered in weeds. I mean, the lock. Oh, it is locked. Well, that answers that. Well, it was only a 14 minute waste of time, if you count both ways, to see nothing finer than what I could have seen on Google Earth or Google Street View. That's Tenayuga Dos. Now what do I do? So I can't wait to get home and see all the photos that I took and see all the video of Tenayuca. I would say that my impression of it, um, if you're a tourist and you have a typical tourist amount of time, seven days, 10 days, two weeks even, just go to Teotihuacan. I wanted to scratch that site off the list because I live here and that's part of the intent that I have with my channel is just to say, what are the things that you don't see as a tourist because you either need to be really good at the metro or it would behoove you to own a car if you want to do that. Los Pueblos Regulares is about not just trying to go to the most dangerous places, which I know a lot of YouTubers do, and I enjoy that and I watch it. Um, the other thing is just to take you to all the places that you're going to see when you come here on vacation, which is also well done. And it's, it's what I watched before I went on vacation here a few times and ultimately moved. But I just feel like there's the whole rest of Mexico is in between those two places, just the regular towns, the normal towns, Los Pueblos Regulares, that's my mission. Let's see if I make it to Plaza de Tres Culturas with enough sun left to shoot some good stuff and I don't have to go back again sometime. Quince? Gracias.